Now, don't worry. This entire patient is totally fake. I'm doing surgical training. Fake gross alert! These fake organs may look gory, but they're actually providing an amazing opportunity for medical training and practice for a real operation. And I'm going to show you how they're made. Time for investigation, ouch! Meet Dr Richard Arm from Nottingham Trent University. He's the mastermind behind these super lifelike organ replicas. This heart, which looks incredibly realistic, how do you actually make this? We take uh, x-ray slices through a living person. Once we've got the scan, we create a digital model that we can then send to a 3D printer to print. This is one we printed earlier, and this is one that's being printed now. It looks like a heart, but it's the wrong colour, mm. and it's hard. It doesn't mm. feel like a heart. Mm. How do you go from this to the realistic model? Mm. So next, we need to make a mould. We put plastic over this to create an impression. Then we need to pour in some silicone. And this is the silicone rubber, and you can see it's red, and it's wet, and it's going to look and feel like a real heart. Oh, so you'd open up your mould, mm -hmm. and that's what you'd have inside. Exactly, yes. So that's amazing, and this does look like a heart, but how do you then make the beautiful blood vessels on the top of this one? We use another machine for that, a selective laser sinterer, which fires a laser beam at tiny particles of rubber to then melt them together. And that's how we create the really intricate structure of those blood vessels. When we get this out here, it's a, a block of powder. The result's in here. No idea what this is going to feel like. It's like digging into flour. Oh, here's something. Oh, wow. So look at that. This is the aorta. This yeah. is one of the big blood vessels coming out of the top of the heart. It's really good. This isn't just sort of any old heart from a, from a textbook. You can actually make models of a specific person's yeah. heart. And so if that person needed an operation, their surgeon could then train on the specific person's mm. organs that they're going to be operating. That's right. And that's how we've ended up here doing a fake operation with fake organs and fake students. No, Sand, they're real medical students. Ooh. How realistic have you found this, Isha? It's really realistic to what an actual human body would be like, and we wouldn't get an opportunity to see something like this in our training. The work that Richard and his team are doing here is not just fantastically cool, it's really important so that surgical students can practice, and when the time comes to save a life for real, they are truly ready.